What's happening people? Back in the kitchen again and uh, only one video today as you can probably tell by my nasal voice I'm coming down with a bit of a cold or man flu as, uh, as my missus has told me it is <laughs> but I was actually planning on going out and filming today I've got, I want, I'm going to a, a train station for a pie pie and mash it looked delicious I seen it on Facebook the other day but the weather well I'll take a look at the weather outside here So I decided to stay in and uh, we went to Aldi last night after work and I came across these Ultimate Burgers Now I've only ever had five guys once in my life that was in York Well ironically it's last year when we went to the Christmas markets and uh, I, rather than getting something from the Christmas market stands we went to five guys um, and it was absolutely delicious now of course it's ridiculously pricey but it was absolutely fantastic so I'm going to attempt my own style Five Guys Burger now I have seen a little trend where to recreate them Five Guys Burgers you um, after you've cooked the burger and put it on in them everything put it all together wrap it in tin foil and then put it in the oven for a little bit and let it like sweat down to like a, like a really juicy burger so I'm going to try that with one of them, with one or the other one, I'll just leave as normal, just in case it ruins it. So let's, uh, yeah, let's get into this. Let's take a look at this uh, sleeve and see what this ultimate burger is all about. It says it's our most amazing burger yet, enriched with bone marrow. That's a bit taste nice. So this is what we've got. We've obviously got the burgers. I've got some shredded lettuce from Morrison. It's a bit of a mix up everything here. Because I actually think I got this Mrs. Elwood's Cucumber Gherkins from Iceland. <laughs> Asda Just Essentials Cheese Slices. Aldi Brioche Burger Buns alongside Aldi. So it's a bit of everything. It's just a burger. This is the real, the real showstopper. The ultimate burger. Our most amazing burger yet enriched with bone marrow. It says there, now with prime cuts of beef brisket and chuck. Now with short rib with beef dry aged for 21 days. Look at that. So, per burger, 279 calories, which I don't think is too bad for a burger. Obviously, with the cheese and uh, the bread and everything, that'll be upped slightly. Traffic light system there. Two ambers, one green and one red. Which you'd expect from a burger. You're not eating a burger to be healthy, are you? Great Taste Award 2022, whatever that means. And it's the one that is part of their spe specially selected specially selected range so here is what it says on the back beef burger made with brisket chuck dry aged beef bone marrow and short rib beef we're gonna fry it um because after i fried them sausages the other day they tasted unbelievable so normally same with burgers i would grill but today i'm gonna fry so that's the full nutritional information 29.9 grams of protein in each of these burgers which is not too bad to be fair uh, and the full ingredients there 87% British beef 3% bone marrow it's got roasted onion in it and metabisulfite is the allergen so that's about it I think okay let's let's cook so I've opened them this is it they are really thick Look at that. Now, I'd be tempted to smash these, but I'm going to leave them as they are.
discuss, so they're about ready. They've got a nice char on the outside. And they smell unbelievable. So we'll put it together and then it's got to go back in the oven. In the tin foil. So I've probably over toasted these buns, but I always butter my buns. I know some people don't with the burgers, but I do. So we're gonna start with a bed of lettuce. Shredded iceberg lettuce. Then we go on with one of these ultimate burgers. Then a Just Essentials cheese slice. couple of uh, Mrs. Elwood's famous burger gherkins. I love these. And then we'll catch up the top. What I believe I've got to do Got to, should have probably done this at the beginning. Put it in tin foil, that ultimate burger there. Wrap it up. And then put it in the oven as a parcel like that for five to 10 minutes. So, let's see how it comes out. Check these out, unbelievable, they look absolutely fantastic, look at that, <laughs> right there's only one thing to do now and that's get into them and have a taste, wow. So here they are and they look delightful, look at that, I've chopped that up so you can see it, uh, I've actually got this one as if it was a Five Guys one, it's still in the tin foil, oh it's falling apart, don't touch it deep. Okay, we're going to taste these anyway. They look. Now, the bread hasn't softened up, maybe I over toasted it. But it's juicy as that, look at that. Okay, let's get into it. It smells unbelievable. Mmm. Oh my god. Look at the size of that. That is so juicy. Mm. Wow. Look at that meat in there. If I if I hadn't have over toasted the bread, the brioche bun. I can see this being unbelievable. Maybe not even toast it at all. Mm. This is unbelievable. Wow. The meat is so juicy. It's unbelievable. I can't believe it. I just got a full, the rest of the patty just fell out of there and I just got a full mouthful of that. Possibly the best burger I've ever had.
Look at that. That char on the outside with the melted cheese. And then, how juicy is this? Look at this. Check this out. Wow. The juice is just, I mean, my hands. Unbelievable is this. Mm. Wow. Wow. Very, very impressed. I don't know how much it was. Let me find out. Two hours later. So these were two pound and sixty nine pence. Sorry about the break, I just had to Google it because I can't find the receipt anywhere. But, I mean, look at that. It is unbelievable. The meat on this, it is crazy deep, it's crazy thick. It's unbelievable. Mmm. That is the best burger I've ever had. And that includes the five guys I had in York last Christmas. That is better. And it's a whole lot cheaper. I don't know how much five guys is, but I think we got two burgers, two fries and two shakes or drinks. And it were 30 quid plus, probably, I think. From what I can remember, don't quote me on the prices. But from two burgers, cost about well what is it 269 and a few bits you're probably looking at 150 a burger so if you bought that burger at five guys you'd be looking at seven or eight quid easy probably more could be more but that's like 150 it's got lettuce it's got gherkins cheese that burger is unbelievable it's better than the five guys burgers unbelievable i am so impressed with that that is the way i will make in burgers and we love burgers in this house one of our proper treats once a month we get burgers proper treat not takeaway burgers my missus likes the morrison's frozen burgers that have got the onion in it she doesn't like she likes a taste of onion but she doesn't like um like an actual onion on it now that's what's missing off there oh bang so bacon fried onions oh my god i'll definitely buy these again i'm gonna make the missus try them as well next time we have burger night so like I said earlier in the video, you're only getting one video today because I'm full of cold and I can't be doing anything else after I've munched these. I'm just going to go back to bed, I think. Um, man flu, I know. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you tomorrow. All being well. Is the best burger I've ever had.